hello you're welcome how to solve this nice algebra problem solution from here what we have here which is root 10 minus 3 can also be written as root 10 minus 3 multiplied by root 10 plus 3 then divided by root 10 plus 3. That is from here, when root 10 plus 3 cancel each other, we are still left with root 10 minus 3. Then we should recall that these are conjugate sort. And from a minus b multiplied by a plus b, which is equals to a square minus b square from here then we can see that root 10 minus 3 here will then be equals to root 10 square minus 3 squared then over root 10 plus 3 and root 10 square root cancel square root square cancel square roots and we have this equals to 10 minus 3 square that's 9 then over root 10 plus 3 which implies that root 10 minus 3 will then be equals to 1 over root 10 plus 3 that is from here this equation here can be written again and this becomes root 10 plus 3 raised to power x 10 plus instead of writing root 10 minus 3 we write 1 over root 10 plus 3 then raised to power x equals to 30 it from here and from what we have here let's use the letter to represent root 10 plus 3 raised to power x that is here let u be equals to root 10 plus 3 raised to power x then what we have becomes u plus 1 over u equals to 38 and from here we multiply this equation through by u that is here becomes u square then plus 1 equals to 38 u and from here let's take 38 u to this side and rearrange so we have u square minus 38 u plus 1 equals to 0 from here and this gives us a quadratic equation whereby a equals to 1, b equals to minus 38, and c equals to 1. That is here from the formula, which is u equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then we have u equals to minus minus 38 plus or minus square root of minus 38 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1 then over 2 times 1 that is here we have u equals to minus times minus as plus so we have 38 plus or minus square root of minus 38 square gives us 1444. Then we have minus 4, then over 2. That is here. This gives us u equals to 38 plus or minus square root of 1440. 
over 2 from here and from here this becomes u equals to 38 plus or minus square root of 1 around 44 times 10 then over 2 and here we can bring root 144 out and that's 12 so we have u equals to 38 plus or minus 12 root 10 over 2 that is here 2 is common we factor 2 out and we have u equals to 2 into bracket 19 plus or minus 6 root 10 here then over 2 and this will cancel out so that here we have u equals to 19 plus or minus 6 root 10 from here then it implies we either have u equals to 19 plus 6 root 10 or we have u equals to 19 minus 6 root 10 and let's recall that we represented u as root 10 plus 3 or raised to power x then it implies here we have root 10 plus 3 or raised to power x equals to 19 plus 6 root 10 then from what we have here we can rewrite here as 19 can be written as 10 plus 9 then plus 6 can be written as 2 times 3 then root 10 from here and also here 10 same thing as root 10 square then plus 9 same thing as 3 square then plus 2 times 3 times root 10 from here and this follows from where we have a square plus b square plus 2ab which is equals to a plus b or squared and here we can say that a equals to root 10 and b equals to 3 then what we have here become root 10 plus 3 raised to power hex here then equals to root 10 plus 3 or squared from here and here we have same base then we can equate the power then we have x equals to 2 on this side then also from here we equate u to be equals to root 10 plus 3 or raised to power x then equals to 19 minus 6 root 10 and also here we can rewrite 19 as 10 plus 9 so here we have 10 plus 9 then minus 2 times 3 root 10 and which also implies that 10 can be written as root 10 squared then plus 9 as 3 squared then minus 2 times 3 root 10 then it implies here that we have root 10 plus 3 all raised to power hex then equals to here we have root 10 minus 3 all raised to power 2 from here then we can recall that here root 10 minus 3 same thing as 1 over root 10 
plus 3. Then what we have then becomes root 10 plus 3 all raised to power x now equals to 1 over root 10 plus 3 squared. Then this 1 over also means raised to power minus 1. So we can equally write this as root 10 plus 3 all raised to power x equals to root 10 plus 3 all raised to power minus 2. Then the base also equal now, then we have x equals to minus 2. So here we have x equals to 2 or x equals to minus 2 from this problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.